Welcome back on board USS Cass and Young. In our last video, we talked about meals, and those who prepared and served meals were involved in the supply part of the ship. But there were other duties on board. These included construction and repair, engineering, navigation, and most importantly for a warship, gunnery. During World War II, Cass and Young had several different weapon systems on board. These included five 5 inch 38 caliber guns, like this one right here, five 40 millimeter anti aircraft guns, seven 20 millimeter anti aircraft guns, two launchers for Mark 15 torpedoes, six K guns for launching depth charges, and two rollers for dropping depth charges. These weapon systems were greatly modified here in the Navy Yard in the 1950s, so not all of them are on board the ship today. We're now in one of the ammunition handling rooms, directly below one of the 5-inch 38 caliber guns. Nine sailors would be in this very enclosed space, and their job was to send up 24 to 30 rounds per minute to the nine sailors directly above us who loaded the guns. Five more sailors would be below us in the magazine. They would be sending up the powder, which came separately from the projectile. The powder casing was 28 pounds, and that could be lifted through an aperture on the powder passing platform. The heavier 54 pound projectile went up on a hoist. The guns could fire 15 to 20 rounds per minute, and they were fired electronically by the gun director, who got his information for targeting from the ship's computer, which could take into account the speed of the ship, the pitch, and the roll. The guns here could fire 9 miles horizontally and 7 miles vertically. They could fire common rounds, armor-piercing rounds, illumination, and variable-time fuse rounds, which utilized basic radar technology. On average, it might take up to 1,100 common rounds to shoot down a single enemy kamikaze. But with a variable time fuse round, only 300 might be necessary. On average, Cass and Young carried about 2,100 rounds for the 5 inch guns. And despite all the battles it was a part of, it did not come close to running out of ammunition. This is one of the 40 millimeter anti-aircraft guns. During World War II, they weren't in this quad configuration, but in a dual configuration. So two of these guns were actually forward by the bow of the ship. These guns could fire 2.6 rounds per second. They had a range of 6.3 miles and could target enemy aircraft flying at 3,200 feet. Although they had automated fire, they still had to be loaded manually. This is Cass and Young's only example of a 20 millimeter anti-aircraft gun. During World War II, there would have been seven of these guns on board, but they were all removed in the 1950s. They could fire 7.6 rounds per second, and despite that high rate of fire, this was your last line of defense in a kamikaze attack because of their small caliber. If you heard these guns firing, you knew you were in trouble. When crossing the gangplank, one of the first things you might notice above the quarterdeck is the launcher here for the Mark 15 torpedoes. During World War II, there were two launchers, this one and one in between the two smokestacks. Each launcher had five tubes for 10 torpedoes total. Each torpedo is 24 feet long and has a 780 pound explosive device. The launcher could rotate port and starboard for launching these torpedoes into the water. From that point on, it had a gyro compass for guidance and was powered by a steam turbine burning in methanol fuel. Traveling at 26 knots, one of these torpedoes could target an enemy craft eight and a half miles away. At 45 knots, burning up that fuel more quickly, it could only hit a target three and a half miles away. That being said, Cass and Young, in fact, never fired any one of its torpedoes during World War II. To counter the threat of Japanese submarines, Cass and Young had two depth charge rollers, both at the stern of the ship, at both starboard and port, although the port side roller has been removed. They dropped teardrop shaped Mark 9 Mod 2 depth charges. Each one was 340 pounds and carried a 190 pound explosive device. They dropped through the water at 22 feet per second and were activated by both depth and pressure. Furthermore, 
Cassin Young had six K guns, three on the port side, three on the starboard side, for launching oil drum shaped Mark 7 depth charges into the water. Despite all these depth charges, Cassin Young is not known to have actually hit a Japanese submarine. This is a Mark 32 torpedo on the starboard side of the ship. It's an example of the weapon changes that were made in the 1950s on Cassin Young. Three of these torpedoes would be located on the starboard side of the ship, three on the port side. They utilized sonar technology and had electronic batteries. Unlike the Mark 15 torpedoes, they could not be fired through a tube on a straight trajectory because the fins were wider than the body. So instead, this launcher would chuck it over the side of the ship. During World War II, two 40 millimeter anti-aircraft guns were located here at the bow of the ship, but they were removed in the 1950s and replaced by these hedgehogs, anti-submarine projectiles, which utilized contact fuses. Unlike the depth charges, which were activated by both depth and pressure, these detonated against a hard surface. Operating all of these weapon systems required a high degree of teamwork. Working quickly and proficiently was often a matter of life or death. It's a testament to the training and skill of the crew that Cassin Young is credited with shooting down up to 20 Japanese aircraft. This ship more than earned her seven campaign stars.